love my job. My job is racing bikes. It's the first time um, that Challenge Athletes Foundation has partnered with USA Cycling go, 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 and US Paracycling to bring these four events together. We have the time trial, national championship, road race. We're going to have the relay. And then we have criteria. You know what I mean? So four national championships, four people are going to walk away, roll away with the national championship jerseys, you know, which is a big thing for us. You know, the Challenge Athletes Foundation provided 60 travel grants for people to be able to afford to come to the race. So we're providing everything that you need to succeed. You know, now it's up to you. We have athletes coming in from all over the country, tons of different disabilities, different ways of riding the bike, different participation levels, supporters, family, friends, for them to be able to join us uh, here in Idaho to experience this first ever Paracycling Road Nationals. It is definitely blowing up. I mean, not just for me, but for the team, for the entire sport of paracycling and cycling. I mean, everybody's falling in love with it because it's such a great sport. <laughs> what it's all about is being a national champion. And when you put a title out there, and you put a special jersey out there for being a national champion, people are gonna show up. And they're gonna show up and they're gonna shell out. They're gonna go as hard as they can for as long as they can because you, you can never take that away. If you are a 2021 national champion, you have that with you forever. By the Challenge Athletes Foundation having such a large prize purse for the athletes, it's a, it's a game changer. We got some pretty good people out here, some of the best female and male cyclists out here. The time trial, especially with the time trial we had here, it's really just out and back. So you're just hammered down, trying to stay as aerodynamic as possible until you get to the turnaround, coming straight back, hard as you can, same thing. You're not working with anyone else, it's just you. So you really have to maintain that mindset of just getting into your little pain bubble and staying there and trying to push the limit. It doesn't matter if you're in a hand cycle or if you're able-bodied, it abuses everybody just the same. Among the athletes competing, we have world champions. We have Paralympic gold medalists, you know, so it's gonna be the best of the U.S. that are gonna be racing here on the crit. This is my first crit, actually, so I'm a little, I don't wanna say nervous, just apprehensive. This is the fastest course of our whole weekend, so it's gonna be a lot of fun. It's like NASCAR on bikes. You know, where we have draft bars and we're constantly bumping each other and drafting. It's not just riding a bike. There's a lot more that goes into it. It's a lot of knowing where everybody else is. You're in a group, you're trying to watch the guys to the side of you, you know, keep keep an eye on your mirror, look behind you and then see what's going on in front. It really pushes me in a way that it's hard to duplicate on my own with training at home. It's gonna be a good one. <laughs> Great opportunity for these athletes, $25,000 at stake. My nerves go crazy and then I get to the start line and everything sort of, you just get in the zone and then your adrenaline kicks in. <laughs> is the team and the women that I've met through the team and every time we travel together we get a little bit closer and you know more running jokes and stuff. We have a shared experience that's different than the general population uh, and it's nice to come together and and be in an environment like that. For me at least I've been waiting for this for over a year right so you know training 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 for a year with no events for this day. I'm missing my left leg and for 10 years I haven't been able to run. So when I race, I feel like I'm running. It just helped me find my identity back. You know, when I got injured, I, I felt a little lost, but coming back to sports uh, took me back to, you know, feeling like I was normal again. In 2008, I, they told me I'd never ride a bike again. And it was really depressing. And then I found out about the trike, just kind of took off from there. It carried me through, it, it gave me goals. I feel free-spirited again, getting on the bike and just being around people and being able to meet different types of people, you know, civilians. It's helped me integrate my 
reintegrate to the community. Oh, so it's so much fun. I, I love these weekends. Every time we leave a race, we're like, oh, we want more. So we're always excited for the next races. It's creating awareness, creating opportunity, creating hope for that next generation. I'm hoping that me being on the team as such a youngster kind of influences other youngsters to get on the team too, or even just try out the sport. And sports was the thing that pretty much saved me. You know, it gave me, you know, a channel, gave me a path. It's inspiring. You okay? And it keeps me in the fight. Definitely, it saved, you know, my life.